guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so flipping excited for today's video because my lovely mom found a whole box of vintage maternity clothes in her closet from when she was pregnant with me and my younger brother in the 90s. Um, and she sent it to me, so I'm gonna go through all the stuff and I haven't even tried it on yet, so I'm gonna try it all on. And I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I have to apologize if you hear noise in the background. I am starving all the time now and Matt is making me food because he's an angel. But yeah, we'll start with this one. So this is a vintage dress. It's from the brand Motherhood. And it's really cute. It looks like it's a maxi dress and it has a little tie at the waist and it's sleeveless. And this is one of the things that I'm most excited about navy blue and then it has this little like shawl that you can put over it um which is good if it gets colder i like the mother of pearl buttons on this too that's like such a 90s thing so cute so i'll go ahead and insert the try on clip here so you can see what it looks like and hear my thoughts okay here is that first piece this one makes me look so pregnant <laughs> i really love it i think the pattern is so pretty and the fabric is so soft I cannot believe like how old it is also the little square neck it's so cute I'm like kind of tempted to wear this to my baby shower tomorrow it's a virtual one but I already like had something picked out but now I'm like well shoot this is really cute <laughs> here it is with the little shrug which is actually still really cute but I think I like it the best without and I honestly might wear this shrug as a crop top <laughs> pregnancy because it's really cute but yeah oh this bodes well for the rest of this try on the next thing is a romper and this is so precious i'm obsessed with it this is again from the brand motherhood um and it's a denim romper with little white embroidered flowers on it oh no it's not a romper it's a dress i know there are a couple rompers so i wasn't sure what was what this one's just a dress i love the square neck of it that's like super 90s and really cute and it's got like this would you call that an empire waist or a baby doll waist? I can't remember. But it ties in the back. I'm so excited to try this on. This one is so precious. Oh, I love it. I love the neckline. That's my bra, but <laughs> you get the idea. I think this is so sweet and cute. This is totally something I would wear like pre-pregnancy too. It's totally my style. Really, really precious. This one is for sure a romper. And you know this one is vintage because it does have shoulder pads, which I will be taking out when I have scissors. <laughs> this is from French Laundry, which I think is a really fancy brand. Like I know that brand still exists. Um, and again, it's light blue floral. Apparently my mom was really into the light blue floral, which I appreciate because so am I. Um, and oh, this is so cute. It's like mostly button up with a little collar. Again, a little tie which I appreciate because these are all a little bit bigger than my normal size but they're also vintage sizing um, so I'm not sure how they're gonna fit but it'll be nice to have the option to tie it a little tighter or tie it a little looser also just like as I grow oh this is so cute I'm so excited okay so this is that first romper I still have to take the shoulder pads out of it <laughs> they're not just like sewn in two little places like they are sometimes they're like sewn all the way Along, so I actually have to get a seam ripper. Um, I think that I want to take the legs of this up a little bit and just like hem them in um, because right now it's giving me a little bit of like Hawaiian shirt dad vacation vibes. But I think with shorter shorts, it's gonna be really, really cute. I can't believe how big I'm getting. Like that's nuts. Then we've got another romper, again with shoulder pads. Again, blue floral. <laughs> this one's like a black with blue floral and it's got a little denim collar, which is really cute. Tie in the back. These feel so comfortable. I can't wait until it like warms up enough to actually wear them. Okay, so romper number two is pretty much the same thing. I think it's a super cute concept. I love the little denim collar. I did rip the shoulder pads out of this one, so that's already an automatic improvement. But I do think that I just need to take the legs up a couple of inches to make it a little bit more modern, but so cute, so comfy. 
I actually chose to tie this one in the front um, just because it was really big so I felt like it was a little bit more flattering to have <laughs> like my rib cage a little bit more defined. I remember when I wanted to have my waist defined. Now I have no waist. Just this guy in here. <laughs> but yeah, this is super sweet. I can't believe that like I was like in a bump in this romper at one point. That's crazy. <laughs> this is super, super cute. This looks like it was almost early 2000s, so it was probably from when she was pregnant with my brother, who was born in 99, um, and it's from Motherhood. It's a little cream t-shirt, and then this khaki dress that has some really pretty embroidery on the bottom, and that like dress over a t-shirt thing that everybody's copying now is like, this is when it was actually happening for the first time. So fun. Okay, this one's crazy because I for sure have seen pictures of my mom in this dress while she was pregnant and it's so weird to be wearing it. Um, but it's really cute. It's a little small for me, like up in the boob region. I wish this was like a little bit farther down, but still cute. Then we've got just a big short sleeve denim button up. I don't know how I'm going to style this, but I feel like it has the potential to be really cute or to make me look a little bit like, I don't know, a grandma, I guess. But I think if I style it right, it'll be cute. Okay, so I'm still not 100% sure on how I want to style this one, but for now, I just like rolled up the sleeves and tied it up over a vintage skirt. But I would love your recommendations because I definitely think it has potential. And it's really soft and like comfy. So I want to find a way to wear it. This needs to get like tucked up. <laughs> so the next thing I kind of cheated on, I'm actually wearing it already. And it's this white cardigan, which I'm wearing as a shirt because, you know, that's a thing right now. And I have to say, if all the try-ons go as well as this, I will be a very happy gal because this is really, really cute. It's ribbed, it's like three quarter length, and it's so comfortable. Okay, so here is this white cardigan. I think it's so cute. I'm definitely just gonna wear it as a shirt. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really like it. It's really lightweight and it's ribbed, plenty of room. Really nice, I really like it. Then the rest of the stuff is all basic white t-shirts and this gray sweater, which is perfect for right now because it's rainy and cold out. Um, again, it's from Motherhood. I think everything is either Motherhood or French Laundry. Um, and it's like really small ribbing and it looks really cozy. This gray sweater is so comfy and cozy. It's got plenty of length, which is really nice. I am gonna wear the heck out of this until it gets warmer. Great basic. I love how basics like this hold up even after like 25 years. This is still like totally something you would see like at a store. I also really like that it's like slightly longer in the back. I think that's really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna go and try all of this on now, but all of that footage will already be interspersed in the video. So you guys have already seen it. So hopefully everything looked good and was cute. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had so much fun trying on vintage maternity clothes. Thank you to my mama for sending them all my way. I'm so excited especially as it gets warmer. I think all this stuff is gonna be so cute and fun and super unique too, because I know these aren't pieces that everybody is gonna have. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. We still got two months left to go in this pregnancy, so let me know what other pregnancy-related videos you guys wanna see down in the comments. I hope you guys are having a really, really great day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!